Well, hello. It is, of course, Amazon Prime Day, and we're taking a look at GPUs to find you the best value graphics card for your budget. But there's a problem that a lot of people don't talk about. How do we make sure that the Prime Day discounts are actually good prices and not just marked up for a few days before to then be marked down slightly? Well, I'm going to do you an absolute solid. Not only are we going to look at the current best deals for Prime Day, but we will also compare those prices to our six months worth of historical pricing data for every current and previous generation GPU. The data that we use in our best value GPU series, which means I can definitively tell you if the prices that we're looking at is a good deal for that model, or if something more powerful has become a better option for that price range. Because after we go over the GPU listings, not only on Amazon, but across the internet from other online retailers doing similar promotions, I'm going to later in the video tell you what price you should be targeting to get a good deal right now. I'll be continuously updating the link specifically in the comments section throughout the event as deals can be had and missed in a blink of an eye. So make sure that you check out the comments section below. But clock's counting, it's about 2 a.m. on the East Coast, which means that Prime Day is just about to start. So on your marks, get set. Let me explain. So you're thinking about an upgrade, but prices are holding you back. Well, there's two ways that I can help you out with that. You can either offset the cost by selling what you currently own, or even make your upgrade more affordable with today's video sponsor, Jawa. Jawa is an online marketplace specifically designed for gamers by gamers, where users and listings are pre-approved to make sure that buyers are not being taken advantage of and prices are fair, which I think we can all get behind. But what if you want to make money instead? Well, sellers can also benefit in a number of ways. Jawa takes a smaller fee compared to eBay, and we'll even outright buy your graphics card from you if you need a quicker, hassle-free sale. But these are only my favorite features of the platform. They also have a vibrant community, commission builds, and a 4.7 Trustpilot rating. So what are you waiting for? Make your next upgrade more affordable by clicking on the Jawa sponsor link below. So now we have the cheapest Prime Day deals for 15 models, which mostly covers current generation high-end and previous generation mid to low. So let's run through the best Prime Day deals we've found so far and see if they are good prices before we then introduce Newegg and other retailers into the equation and see if we can find them even cheaper. Bear in mind that not all models have Prime Day discounts, at least right now, that will likely change throughout the event. And the pinned comment below will have the cheapest price for each model, regardless of them being in the Prime Day sale or not. The goal down there is 100% best prices. So let's start with the best Prime Day deals before we then take a look at the rest. Which means that we are starting with the Power Color Fighter Radeon 6700 XT for $300, $299. That's actually an incredible price for that card and the best price that we've seen in the last 70 days, if only by about $10. There aren't really any bells and whistles on this card, realistically, it's, it's pretty plain, but if you want value for money, it's really difficult to argue with $300 for a 6700 XT. You have 12 gigabytes of memory, it's a fantastic 1080p and 1440p card. For $300, if you are looking for the absolute best bang for the buck performance per dollar, this is the one that I would 100% go for. The second option comes from Nvidia with this Peladin RTX 37 at $362.35, making it again about $10 cheaper than the cheapest ever 3070 that we've seen in the last 70 days, making this a good price for the cart. But Peladin aren't very well known, and as it's being shipped and sold by them, it's going to take a decent amount of time. So we probably have a better option coming up soon. And I imagine that, that people are likely to take that, especially as $360, we're kind of getting into the territory where I would probably recommend a different GPU at that point. Bear with me one second. Okay, so I just had a chat with my editor and apparently Newegg have uh, better priced GPUs for 14 different models that we're going to check out in a bit once we cover a few more Amazon Prime Day deals, which I think we found better prices than what you're going to see, which is a quick reminder to check the comment section for the best prices. So let's continue on from high to low, which starts us off with the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3080 16 gigabyte at $1,097.99, which is a lot of money. And we have seen the 4080 go down lower than that recently, but $1,100 is pretty much a standard good deal. In terms of the Camelizer, it is the cheapest price that it has been in the last, in the last. Unlike the 7900 XTX, the Power Color Red Devil, that is a pretty good looking card if you have um, 
eight slots to fit it. And I believe it's three power cables for this model. Yep, three eight pins. But this is a really nice card at $900. It's not the best it's ever been. It's gone down to 830. We've definitely recorded that. In fact, it came down to 830 on Amazon, but 7900 XTX, fantastic card all around if it's within your budget let's say. If it's not, we have the 7900 XT for $150 less than that, being the Sapphire Pulse version. In terms of Camelizer, how is it doing? It is a bit less than what it's been recently. It is actually below what we consider a good target price, but higher than the cheapest that it's ever been by about $45, and isn't going to have as good of ray tracing support as something comparable from Nvidia. Something like the RTX 3070 Ti, and this is the Zotac Spider-Verse edition, which is quite an interesting card. I think it's got fancy design on the back. Yeah, right there. But this card is $835.99, making this the best 4070 Ti in the Prime Day deals so far. Though I imagine that's probably going to change. $835 isn't particularly a good price. In fact, our target price for that would be $879.99. So it's what, like $45 more than that? But being a special edition, there is a premium with it. Oh my God, it comes with it. so many things. What the actual hell? I really would prefer to just save the money. I mean, I like the back plate, but everything else is just absolutely useless. But being a special edition that's co-branded with Spider-Man, it's, it's going to have a, a premium applied to it. So let's check out Camelizer and see if it's a good price for this specific version from Zotac, for which it is 5% less. Amazon is not lying to us, but still not a good deal in terms of overall 4070 TIs. And this is one that's probably worth skipping unless you really like Spider-Man. There is a 4070 version, which is pretty much the same deal. Prime day, 5% off. 664 is pretty significantly above our target price. This one is a hard no. The lowest it's been is 559.99. Our target price is about 580. And this is what, about $85 more than that. In terms of Camelizer, it's a good price for this specific version. Again, if you were super into Spider-Man, but there are other 4070s that are probably going to be a much better deal than this, which we'll get to in a second, because we've only covered the current generation so far. And the best deals are likely going to be in the previous generation as they're trying to offload stock. So first up in the previous generation is the 6800 XT from Power Color again, Red Dragon. At $479, it is below our target price by about $20 and the cheapest it has been in the last 70 days. This is actually a pretty excellent price for this card, for this model, the 6800 XT. In terms of Camelizer, it is the lowest price it's been in the last ever by about $40. And with the 6800 XT, you're getting 16 gigabytes of memory and a fantastic 1080p, 1440p gaming experience with some decent 4K in there. But dropping down in price again, we have Nvidia, the RTX 3060 Ti, the GDDR6 X version. This is slightly better than the original GDDR6 version. Still again, slightly worse than the 3070, but they're, they're very close, they're very comparable. And at $339, how are we doing? 3060 Ti G6X, the cheapest it's been is 320. Our target price is $330. So it's an extra $9 on top of what we would consider a good deal. But if you were after a white card, I would totally understand. It is a pretty good looking card and there is value in aesthetics. In terms of Camelizer, it is running about 300, it is, on par with the cheapest that it's been. But in terms of Prime Day GPUs, there's also a G6 version, the older version of the 3060 Ti, being again a Peladin card. You are saving about $13 going for this G6 version over the G6X. But in terms of what I would recommend, I wouldn't want to wait that long. It's a brand that is less well known compared to Asus and a model that is slightly worse performing. This one is a pass, which is unfortunately the same for the 6750 XT. This is truly a fantastic card, actually, the 6750 XT. The problem with it is that $354.99 is above our target price. We'd want to see this around $320, to be honest. Um, in terms of Camelizer, is this a good price for this model? It is, but realistically by $15. But I do like that it has 12 gigabytes of memory. 
it, it is a nice card overall. It just needs to come down that little bit more. Hopefully there'll be another version in Prime Day deals that will beat this. In fact, I was looking through the GPUs and the Prime Day deals so far, some of them are pretty good, some of them are not so much. In fact, what I want to do is go back over the ones that I didn't recommend, at least a couple of them, and show you that we find much better prices than what Amazon Prime Day deals can show. In fact, this is the exact same RX 6750 XT for 300 and what's that, about $19. Compared to Amazon who had it for $354.99. If you wanna save, what's that, $35? You just buy the exact same version elsewhere and it's the best price that we've recorded in the last 70 days for this card. The G6X 3060Ti, we can save about $10 on if you didn't want a white one, but again, would completely understand. But the difference with this one still being Amazon is that it's not technically a Prime Day deal, but it is a better price for that card. We then have the Asus Dual 4070 compared to which one was it? It was this one? No, that's a 4070 Ti. Compared to this version. Again, this is a Spider-Man one that comes with a price premium of exactly $65 over MSRP. So again, don't be fooled by Prime Day deals. You can find better prices outside of that. $749 versus $719. If you want to save a bit of money, Newegg will have it for $40 less. And is that a good price compared to recently? $719 actually is $15 more expensive than the lowest price we've ever seen it. So this is a fantastic price. Our target price for this model for a good deal is $756. So this is significantly cheaper. But the best deal is the $6,600. $180 for this card is actually pretty stunning. In our test, this is a decent 1080p card and playable 1440p. $180, this is the one to buy if you are on a budget. And if you can stretch a bit more, the 6700 XT is a good step up from that. But as you've seen, the problem with using a tool like the Camelizer up here is that it's only telling you if the price shown is a good price for something like this specific Zotac Amp Spider-Man edition of the 4070, which presents a bit of a problem for you. Just because this specific version from Zotac is currently a good price compared to itself, as you can see right here, it's about $35 less, it doesn't mean that it's a good price compared to other 4070s. It may truly be the cheapest it has ever been, but it may still be hundreds of dollars more expensive than ones from other brands, for example, making it comparatively a bad deal. And there's no way of you knowing this while using these pricing tools, which is why I've been talking about lowest prices and target prices you should aim for, which is where our historical GPU pricing data can assist you in setting a reasonable target price for each model and making sure that you are not overspending. What I have done for you here is broken out the last 70 days of our historical lowest GPU prices, as they have been the cheapest over our six months worth of data, while also extending way past Amazon's best price in 30 days to make sure that we're looking further than Amazon is telling you about. But there are three columns and one recommendation for you to consider. The average price of the daily cheapest models, the absolute lowest that we have recorded for each model, and the 10% cheapest target price. To check if the GPU you're looking at is a good deal compared to recent Recently, while eliminating some of the issues with using the absolute lowest best price. And you can learn how and why we organize the data like so in this video right here. But I do want to stress, if you found a specific high-end version for a model for a bit more than what you see here and you're happy with the price, then I'd say go ahead and grab it. These prices are compiled from the cheapest version of that model for each day. And if you're only after a Strix 4070, for example, I can tell you now, it has never been the lowest price version within any of these models. And there is value to aesthetics, cooling, power delivery, stuff that's a bit more difficult to quantify. Just make sure that you're not spending more for a specific version version of a card compared to a cheaper version of something more powerful, because that's just a poor value decision, which means you'll probably find this chart extremely useful. This is our most recent benchmark data for all current and previous generation GPUs, which should help you determine which cards are more powerful between manufacturers in rasterization or pure gaming performance, and to learn the real differences between Nvidia, AMD, and Intel GPUs. You can check out this video, where we break down the real reasons to go for one manufacturer over another, because it's not as simple as you might think. 
and you can check that out by clicking here. But don't forget to come back during the event and check out the pinned comment below for updated best deals and share this video with people who you think will appreciate it. Otherwise guys, share, like, subscribe, they are always appreciated and I hope you have an amazing day.